For the first time, the gas networks have come together to show how the UK-wide hydrogen economy could develop between 2030 and 2050. The resulting maps are based on modelling developed in a programme of work in consultation with the UK government. And whilst they're not a blueprint of how the rollout will happen, they're a plausible possible vision of what future hydrogen infrastructure could look like and how we'll get there. In our vision for 2030, companies across the country are already beginning to use hydrogen to decarbonize, largely in areas where groups of industrial users cluster together. We'll have 10 gigawatts of hydrogen produced, and the infrastructure supporting that could gradually build out to reach those living and working nearby, as well as starting to decarbonize other areas like some long-distance transport. By 2035, developing infrastructure could enable between 10 to 20% of gas consumers to convert to hydrogen. Hydrogen produced from natural gas and carbon capture, known as blue hydrogen, could be part of this picture alongside green hydrogen produced using carbon-free electricity. This is important, as the UK electricity system should now be fully decarbonized, meaning hydrogen could play a key role in balancing electricity supply and demand. By 2040, we're likely to see hydrogen made from nuclear power with the volume of hydrogen now produced able to decarbonise wider demand, including airports and rural trains. In the 2040s, Scotland should reach net zero. As many as 60% of UK gas consumers could have converted to hydrogen by 2045. Most of the network could have been converted to transporting hydrogen, enabling nearly 14 million homes and businesses to decarbonize. Hydrogen from renewables is likely to be the cheapest form of hydrogen by now, and we'll see hard-to-abate sectors convert to using some hydrogen, including shipping at ports like Felixstowe, Liverpool, Southampton and South Wales. By 2050, we'll be producing nearly 40 terawatt-hours of hydrogen, Around half of all industrial users and nearly 17 million homes and businesses could be connected to the hydrogen network for the low carbon heat and hot water they need. Hydrogen offers homes and businesses a choice in how they decarbonize. Hydrogen is not the only answer, but it is part of the answer. And alongside electrification could play a crucial role in delivering the UK's net zero target.